What is going on guys? Today we're gonna to be going over how to use launch control in the new C8 Corvette that you see right here. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all first how to activate it and then we're gonna go and actually do it probably once or twice, uh, one time with launch control and then one time just foot braking it to kind of like compare the speeds between uh, launch control and just foot braking. So we're gonna be doing that. And then also uh, off video, I took the cats off this car. So it's quite loud now. So we're gonna let it warm up I'm gonna start the car and y'all are gonna see exactly how loud this thing is now. All right, let's start this thing up. I really hope y'all are ready for this because uh, in this garage, it's quite loud. Now, while this thing is warming up, I'm not sure if it matters or not, but my car is a non-Z51 Corvette Stingray. So it does not have the Z51 package. And if yours does, uh, you can still try this procedure. It might be the exact same on non-Z51s and Z51s. I'm not 100% sure. I can only speak from my own experience, but you can still try it. And let me know in the comments if it does work on your Z51 cars. All right, guys, stepping back into the car, I'm gonna show you exactly how to activate launch control mode. So first off, you're gonna have to put the car into drive. Then after that, you're gonna have to go all the way over to track mode. And then once you're in track mode, you have to be in track mode, by the way, you are going to hit the traction control button twice until both the traction control and the ESC off light come on. So you're gonna go one, two. So you see those two lights way up there, you're gonna to have to have both those on. Disregard the check engine light, that's not important. <laughs> but yeah, so you have to have both those lights on before uh, launch control will actually activate. If you don't have both those lights on, then whenever you go to foot brake it, if you just have one, it will, the RPMs will only go up to like 1500 or 1600 RPMs. But whenever you have both of them on, oh, hold on, then they will go up to <laughs> 3500 RPMs. So just kind of go over it quickly one more time. All you're gonna do is put your car into drive, go all the way over to track mode and then tap your traction control button twice. And then put your foot on the brake, floor the gas, and then let off the brake, and there you go. All right, so now we're gonna go on a very closed and private road to test out the uh, launch control versus just foot braking times. As you can see, these things have a performance timer, so we can test our zero to 100 on both modes. We got everything set up. First, we're gonna do the launch control, so we're just gonna start right now. Like we got 7.4. All right, and now for the zero to 100 without launch control. Looks like we got 8.2. All right, so 7.4 with launch control, zero to 100 and 8.2 without launch control, zero to 100. So that's a considerable and noticeable difference. And this is on all season tires and on a non-prepped surface. If this was with some drag radials on a prepped track, I'm sure that the difference would be even greater. So yeah, there you have it guys. There's the difference between the two and how to use launch control in your 2020 to 2023 C8 Corvette. 